Hey folks, it's that time again. Time to answer one of your guys' questions, a question that I get all the time. That's a lot of times. And that question is, how do I connect my hearing aids to my computer? And I gotta say, this should not be as complicated as it is. But unfortunately, it is very complicated. It is convoluted. It makes no sense. Well, it will in a second. With all the different hearing aids, um, mainly prescription hearing aids, and all the different brands out there, there's something called proprietary. And all these brands have their own proprietary Bluetooth connecting devices. For example, if you have a TV that's got Bluetooth, a smart TV, you should be able to take your Bluetooth hearing aids and just connect them directly to the TV, right? Wrong. You should be able to connect them and have all the audio from the TV stream to your hearing aids, just like you do with your phone. When you connect your hearing aids to your phone, all the sound from the phone gets streamed directly to your hearing aids. And that part of it is super easy and makes sense. But when it comes to TVs, computers, it is different. In order for you to connect your Philips hearing aids to your TV, you have to buy the proprietary Philips TV streamer. If you want to connect your Jabra hearing aids to your TV so that you can stream the TV audio, you have to buy the Resound or Jabra TV streamer. Because all of the information that's being transferred to and from the TV is encrypted. And you have to have one of these devices to decrypt the information. I mean, all the TVs and all the hearing aids, the technologies out there, the capabilities are out there. They just put in these unnecessary roadblocks to... I guess, sell these other additional products. Now, this goes for the prescription hearing aids. Over-the-counter hearing aids we'll talk about here in a minute. So what I've found, um, because I've never had the desire to connect hearing aids to a computer because I don't need them. I have headphones, you know. But for some folks, it's hard to get those hearing aids in and out. And if they can just keep the hearing aids in and use them for everything, why not, right? It's going to make life a lot easier, and I get that. Um, but what I found is when it comes to prescription hearing aids, Philips, Oticon, Bernafon, Jabra, Resound, Belltone, Rexton, Signia, True Hearing, Miracle Ear. These are all MiFi or made for iPhone hearing aids. So if your hearing aid is a MiFi hearing aid, like we'll just use the Costco hearing aids, like Philips, Rexton, or Jabra, they're not going to connect to your Windows PC. But you can connect them to your Mac because they're made for iPhone. They're made for the Apple products. It also gets really convoluted there. You have to have a, the certain Mac. You have to have the, the right type of chip. And I know some of you guys have been trying to connect them and you don't know if your hearing aids can or if they should, or maybe you're doing the wrong thing. That's what this video is for. I'm going to show you guys how to connect them. If you can, basically give it a shot, try it. If it doesn't work, then you got your answer right there. No, you're not able to. Now, if your prescription hearing aid is not a MiFi hearing aid, like the Phonak or KS9 or KS10s, they are not made for iPhone hearing aids. So they can connect to all these different devices without those unnecessary roadblocks. You can connect your Phonak or KS9 or KS10 Bluetooth hearing aids to your PC. Now, one really nice thing about over-the-counter hearing aids is they don't have all this proprietary BS. They give you the freedom to do what you want, which is really cool. I wish it wasn't as complicated as it is, but it is. Now, one more thing, Microsoft said that they're currently testing and working on getting support for Windows 11 to allow streaming with hearing aids that have Bluetooth LE audio. And that's a whole nother thing, guys. And I will do some more research and I will try to figure out, you know, how this works and what the requirements are. It's just, it's a lot. But with the new AuraCast and the new Bluetooth um, protocols that are coming out now, I, I think they're working on making it a little bit more streamlined and a little more consistent and a little less convoluted. But for now, I'm going to keep it simple. This is how you connect them and this is how you know if they will connect. Just follow the steps here and uh, try it yourself. Okay. So here we go. Let's check it out. All right, so we're going to kick this off with a couple sets of over-the-counter hearing aids. We're going to get them connected to your PC. There's two ways to get to the Bluetooth menu. One, you could click on the Windows button and then select Settings, the little gear icon. And then your Bluetooth options are right there. But another easy way is just to use the search bar. So just type in Bluetooth and you're going to select the first option that comes up, Bluetooth and other device settings. 
Now, one thing you have to consider here is, are your hearing aids already connected to something else with the Bluetooth? Like me, these are the LA Hear Alpha Pros. Okay, I just did a video on them if you guys wanna check them out. Um, they're currently connected to my phone already. They're Bluetooth to my phone. I've got streaming turned off. They're tied up right now with my phone. So they're not going to connect to my laptop, okay, because they're already tied up. So to free up that connection, I can either unpair them from my phone or I can just shut off the Bluetooth temporarily so that it frees up that hearing aid so I can connect them to my laptop. So I've turned off the Bluetooth on my phone. Now these hearing aids technically are not connected to anything. They're not tied up and now I can connect them to the computer. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click Add Devices under the Bluetooth menu, and then I'm gonna select the top option, the one that says Bluetooth. This is the category that the hearing aids and wireless earbuds and things like that are gonna be in. So select the top option. And then go ahead and shut the hearing aids off and then turn them back on. Now for most of your rechargeable hearing aids, that just consists of putting the hearing aids in the charger, that shuts them off, and then pulling them back out, and that will turn them on. But sometimes it doesn't quite work that way. So if you're having trouble with it they're, and they're not showing up on here, then go ahead and manually turn the hearing aids off and back on so you know for sure you're shutting them off. So for most of your guys' hearing aids, that's gonna be the volume down button, or if there's only one button on the hearing aids, you're gonna press and hold that button. For these Elihir Alpha Pros, it's actually the volume up button. So I'm gonna hold that down for a few seconds and they're gonna shut off. And then I'm gonna wait a couple seconds and I'm gonna turn them back on by holding down the volume up button again to turn them back on. And folks, that is literally all it takes. As soon as they powered back on, I saw the Elihir Alpha Pro pop up on the screen and I just select it to connect to them and bam, we are connected. Now any of the sound that comes through the computer will come through these hearing aids. It is now streaming. And remember, if your hearing aids, whatever hearing aids you're using, do not show up, make sure they are not connected to something else. If they're connected to your phone, shut off the Bluetooth or unpair them from the phone. And if your hearing aids still do not show up, then for whatever reason, they're probably not compatible. All right, now we're gonna do the Liner Nova lights. These are another set of over-the-counter hearing aids that have Bluetooth. The process is going to be exactly the same. You put them in the charger to shut them off, you take them out of the charger to turn them back on and put them in pairing mode. Or if that doesn't work, you can just manually power cycle the hearing aid. So uh, these also use the top button as the power button. So I'm gonna hold the top button until they shut off. I'm gonna give it a few seconds and then hold the top button again to turn them back on and that's gonna put them in pairing mode. Once they're powered back on, it should show up in the Bluetooth list and you just select it and they will connect. I'm telling you folks, when it comes to over-the-counter hearing aids, pairing them to the PC could not be any easier. Now we're gonna take a prescription set of hearing aids. I'm going to use the KS10s or the Phonak hearing aids because these are not MFI or made for iPhone hearing aids. And out of all the big manufacturers of prescription hearing aids, these Phonak or Sonova, KS10s, whatever you want to call them, are the only brand that are not made for iPhone. So for these KS10s, same thing. You just put them in the charger to shut them off, take them out of the charger to turn them back on and put them in pairing mode. Or if that doesn't work, again, just hold the volume down button for these, not the volume up, and then the light's going to change. That lets you know they're off and then you're gonna hold down the button again, the volume down button to turn them back on again, putting them in pairing mode. And they should pop up right away on the add Bluetooth screen. You just select it and you are now connected and ready to rock. And this is gonna be the same process and it's gonna work for both the KS9 and the KS10 hearing aids. And this is because they're not MFI hearing aids. So one more time for all the folks in the back, if your hearing aid is made by DeMont, like the Philips or Oticon, if it's made by GN, like the Jabra, Resound, or Belltone, if it's made by WS Audiology, which is Signia, True Hearing, Rexton, Miracle Ear, or made by Starkey, they are all MFI or made for iPhone hearing aids. And this is what happens when you take one of those hearing aids. For me, I'm using the Philips, or I'll just use my Jabra, Enhanced Pro 10. I'm gonna shut it off, turn it back on, and I get nothing, 
zero. Sometimes something will show up on the screen and it says something like Bluetooth headset or it might say Jabra and then you try to connect to it and you will get no response. This is normal. These are made for iPhone hearing aids and they're not gonna connect to the computer yet. But that is going to change for any hearing aids that have the Bluetooth LE audio codec or Bluetooth protocol. These are the hearing aids that are gonna have the AuraCast feature enabled because AuraCast is also using that Bluetooth LE audio protocol. And remember, Microsoft said that they are working on support for the Windows 11 operating system. And guess what? This laptop has Windows 11 and Bluetooth. So let's see what happens when we try to connect the Enhanced Pro 20s with Bluetooth LE audio. So I'm gonna shut off the hearing aids and then I'm gonna turn them back on and look at that, both hearing aids appear on the screen. But here's where it gets all haywire. It lets me connect to one of the hearing aids and I even hear the Bluetooth notification saying that they are connected. And it shows that it's connected. And then it just kind of disconnects. It says it can't connect anymore. Try again. It just goes all crazy. So it's trying to connect to the hearing aid. It sees it. It even gives me the notification, the audible notification that it's connected, but it just doesn't work. So then I tried connecting both of them one at a time. They both show connected. And again, it just, it just loses the connection. Something happens. So they're very close to getting it working. I'm gonna keep playing with it and I'm gonna keep messing with it to see if I can get it working. Maybe there's an update that I missed. I checked Windows Update. I've got the latest version. So I'm gonna to try to figure it out. And if I ever do, I'm sure I will. I'll let you guys know. So what they're trying to do with this Bluetooth LE audio is a couple things. Number one, it enabled the use of AuraCast, which is a Bluetooth broadcasting thing. You guys have been hearing me talk about it. You've heard Dr. Cliff talk about it. Everybody's talking about it. But the other thing that it's trying to do or what that they're trying to do with the Bluetooth LE audio is kind of standardize everything. So right here, support for Bluetooth technology and hearing aids to date has been based on proprietary implementations. Proprietary implementations, meaning the Jabra TV streamer, the Philips TV streamer. By standardizing support for Bluetooth technology with hearing aids, LE Audio increases the availability of Bluetooth hearing aids and enables true global interoperability. So hopefully they might be phasing out these proprietary TV streamers because it sucks and these things are expensive. So it's going to be interesting to see what they do because I don't see all these hearing aid brands being okay with suddenly not selling these $300, $200 TV streamers. So we'll have to see. They want people to be able to just take their Bluetooth enabled smart TV and allow people to connect their hearing aids to it. But that's going to get rid of these proprietary streamers. People are going to lose money. So I'm really, really interested to see how this goes. And if you guys want to read more information and watch some videos to see what all this Bluetooth LE audio is about, I'll put a link to this website in the description. And the only reason I spent so much time in this video, you know, talking about LE audio and trying to get those enhanced pro 20s to connect is because these are made for iPhone hearing aids. And if I could get a pair of made for iPhone hearing aids to connect seamlessly without having to buy any kind of connecting device or, you know, any kind of special software, this would be the first step in this Bluetooth LE audio, allowing us to have more freedom with our hearing aids and just be able to connect to things that we need to connect to without having to buy this extra thing or that thing. So this is really important. And this is a, uh, almost like a, a, a wireless revolution, if you will. So let's go. Exciting stuff, guys. All right, folks. So for all of you Mac users out there, things are no easier. Things are no less complicated. It is still a pain in the butt. So if your hearing aids are over-the-counter hearing aids or something like, you know, the Sonova Phonak and KS9 and 10s, it's the same exact process. To find the Bluetooth settings, you could just click on your Apple button and then go to System Preferences and then Bluetooth. And then you just power the hearing aids off, turn them back on again, and if they are compatible, they will show up right here. Now the same things do apply. If the hearing aids are not showing up, make sure they're not already connected or paired to something else. You have to free up that connection. And of course, make sure the Bluetooth is turned on. It says right there on the left side that it is turned on. Once the hearing aids pop up, go ahead and click on it and hit connect and uh, you shouldn't have any issues. Now this is just how you connect 
over-the-counter hearing aids and hearing aids that are not MFI hearing aids. If you have an MFI or made for iPhone hearing aid, you're gonna connect to it just like you would on your iPhone. Now this Mac is an older Mac, so I'm not able to do it. When I go to system preferences and then accessibility, I have this old looking, you know, antiquated menu that doesn't have hearing devices on it. So I'm not able to do it. You have to have a more current Mac with the current operating system. And I know you have to have at least an M1 or M2 chip. There's a really good video by the hearing tracker that will talk about the specifics. But to make it easier, just check your accessibility menu. If it looks like it does on the phone or like this, then you're good to go. And just like on the phone, you go to your system settings, you go to accessibility, and then hearing devices. It's gonna search for the hearing aids just like your normal Bluetooth menu, and you power them off, turn them back on, and you should be able to connect your Philips, Jabra, or Rexton hearing aids. And that is it, folks. That is how you connect your over-the-counter hearing aids to your PC, your prescription hearing aids to the PC if they're not MFI hearing aids, and also how to connect MFI hearing aids to your Mac. I hope you found the video useful. And for the hearing tracker video, it's a little bit more in depth on just the Mac side of things. Check the link in the description. And then if you guys wanna read those Bluetooth articles or anything else I mentioned in the video, all the links will be in the description. And last but not least, don't forget to check out the video on the new Elahir Alpha Pros, where I do a full review and break down everything. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, guys.